Hello to you from the uh, Newberry Church of Christ. I'm Jess Carter here speaking from my office. Today I'd like to talk to you about the subject I have on the board. Basically, that is what is Christmas, what it is, and uh, what it is not. Christmas is one of the great holidays of Christianity. It's a holiday of Christianity, but so oftentimes most Christians do, they just don't understand what it is, or they do not understand what it is not. First of all, I'd like to tell you that I am happy that we have Christmas. I'm glad that we celebrate the, the Christmas holidays because it has more people thinking about Jesus this time of year than, than any other time of the year. People are thinking about Jesus. But so oftentimes people have thoughts that's not based on the truth. And we need to realize just what Christmas is. It's a time to remember Jesus. It's a time of joy, a time of love, a time of family. But Christmas is also not what we think in a sense. It is not Christ's birthday. Oh, I say that. People say, well, what, what do you mean? Well, the evidence is that Christ was probably born when the shepherds was in the field and on all this. When everything happened, it is pretty well known that Jesus was born in, in the spring. Matter of fact, I've had one scholar, a great Bible teacher in one of the institutions, told me that from what he could see, it was pretty a pretty good guess that at least in the same season, if they're not the same month, Jesus was born and he also died, if that makes sense, probably in the, the spring of the year. But what is, what, is, uh, what is Christmas? Well, first of all, Christmas is the time that we remember the birth of Christ. But we need to remember not just the birth. We, we need to remember what that birth was for. If we look at Matthew, there in Matthew 1 and 21, I like to read just this one verse where God was talking to, uh, to Joseph, the stepfather of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It says, and she, I'm talking about Mary, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Here we can see that when God talked to Joseph and said, don't put her away. She is having a, a child, but it's the child of the Holy Spirit. And she is going to have a son. His name is going to be Jesus. And he is going to what? What did it say? He is going, he will save his people from their sins. Now, what people was he going to, to save from sin? For that account, I want you to look at Luke. Luke 1. And then verse 30, because God spoke to both Joseph and Mary, because they was going to be his parents of Jesus. And he talked to both of them and told them what Jesus was going to be and what Jesus was going to do. Here in, in Luke, in Luke, uh, I'd like for you to look, Luke 1, verse 30. It says, Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you... Have not, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. And he shall, and, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of, of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be what be no end. He was saying that he was going to be the person that was going to set up that kingdom that was talked about in Daniel chapter 4, that that was prophesied and promised all through the Old Testament. He was going to be that one. Now we think of, of Christmas, and, and I know it's not the Lord's birthday, but I also know it's a day and a season that people rejoice and they think about Christ. We need to put the emphasis not on just that day, but on the person of who Christ is. 
Christ is the Savior of the world. He is the establisher of his kingdom, his church. And by the way, we need to remember that not just one day, but, but every day. Now there's some, I think, some, some lies that have been taught about the birth of Jesus. Some lies, if we look at, if, if we would look at Matthew 2 and, uh, and 11. I can remember when I was young, I played in a pageant. And I was one of the wise men. And they had us march in and come into the stable where Jesus was there with the shepherds. And, you know, I was grown before I, I found out finally that that was not according to God's word. The shepherds came that night. We see that account in Luke. But in Matthew, it talks about how they seen the light. They saw the star. They, they went down. They went to Jerusalem. They traveled to Jerusalem. They saw the king, the king Herod. They found out where the, the Messiah was to be born. Then they went to Bethlehem, followed the star, and they went into the house where he was at. Being warned of his, in a dream, the wise men, they end up leaving, going back another way to their land. And Herod got mad, saw what had happened. And it says that he went down in Matthew 2 and 16, that he sent his troops and they, they killed in the region of Bethlehem every child that was two years and younger. So they did not go to, they did not, those wise men, they did not go to the, the stable, but they went later. I would say it's almost a reinforcement. And the, and the birth of Jesus, the shepherds came, the angels, and they, they was, they was known, his, his parents, they was known and they was reminded that who this was. Two times, one, they were reminded when he was just a babe. Then when he was just a, a, a year or before he was two years of age, they was reminded again of who this child was. This child was somebody that was special. Somebody that was going to set up a kingdom. Somebody that was going to save his people. And they pondered that. And they was with him. And they was good parents to him. Both of them, at least to the age of 12. After 12, we don't see Joseph, so he probably died. But Mary, Joseph, they pondered that great, that great time when the Lord spoke to one and then the other. When the messengers came first at the stable. And then later to the house, telling them that this son was the son of God. I think they believed it. Do you believe it? Do you believe and understand that Jesus is the son of God? If you do, you know the importance of this season. Jesus is the Christ, the son of God. Amen.